Welcome to RM Sassy Sphere, your go-to source for sassy insights and tutorials. RRM Sassy Sphere is a YouTube channel dedicated to providing insights and tutorials on Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE technology and modern IT security practices. We offer viewers a comprehensive resource for understanding and implementing cutting edge cybersecurity solutions. Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE, is a cloud-based architecture that combines network and security services to protect users, applications, and data, regardless of their location. This innovative approach addresses the evolving needs of modern enterprises as they shift away from traditional perimeter-based security models. At its core, SASE integrates several key components. One, software-defined Wide Area Network, or SD1. This technology optimizes network performance by intelligently routing traffic across the most efficient paths. Two, Secure Web Gateway, or SWG. SWGs protect users from web-based threats by filtering malicious content and enforcing company policies. Three, Cloud Access Security Broker, or KSE. These tools provide visibility and control over cloud applications, helping prevent data leaks and ensure compliance. Four, Firewall as a Service, or FBYS, cloud-based firewalls that offer advanced threat prevention and intrusion detection capabilities. And five, Zero Trust Network Access, or ZTNA. This security model verifies user identities and device trust before granting access to applications, enforcing the principle of least privilege. SASE operates through a distributed network of points of presence, which are strategically located to minimize latency and optimize performance. Users connect to the nearest POP to access SASE services, ensuring consistent security policy enforcement regardless of their location. One of SASE's key advantages is its ability to deliver security at the edge, closer to the user or device, rather than routing all traffic back to a central data center. This approach significantly reduces latency and improves the user experience, especially for cloud-based applications and remote workers. SASE also offers centralized management, allowing organizations to implement consistent policies across their entire network from a single console. This consolidation simplifies administration reduces complexity and enables more agile responses to emerging threats. As businesses continue to embrace digital transformation and cloud technologies, SASE is poised to become an essential framework for securing the modern enterprise network. Its cloud native approach provides the flexibility and scalability needed to support distributed workforces and multi-cloud environments while maintaining robust security controls Modern IT security practices have evolved significantly to address the complex threat landscape of today's digital environment. These practices focus on proactive defense, continuous monitoring, and rapid response to potential security breaches. One of the fundamental principles of modern IT security is the adoption of a zero trust architecture. This approach assumes that no user, device, or network should be automatically trusted, even if they are within the organization's perimeter. Zero trust requires continuous verification of identity and device integrity before granting access to resources, significantly reducing the risk of unauthorized access. Multi-factor authentication has become a cornerstone of modern security practices by requiring users to provide multiple forms of identification, such as a password and a temporary code sent to their mobile device, MFA dramatically reduces the risk of account compromise. Organizations are increasingly implementing MFA across all user accounts to enhance their security posture. 
Regular security training for employees is crucial in modern IT security. Cybersecurity awareness programs help staff recognize and respond to potential threats such as phishing attempts. These programs should be ongoing and updated frequently to address emerging threats and attack vectors. Continuous vulnerability scanning and patching have replaced periodic assessments. This approach allows organizations to identify and address vulnerabilities in real time, reducing the window of opportunity for attackers to exploit known weaknesses. Automated patch management systems ensure that software and systems are updated promptly, closing potential security gaps. Data encryption has become a standard practice for protecting sensitive information both at rest and in transit. This includes encrypting data stored on devices, in databases, and during transmission over networks. Encryption helps prevent unauthorized access to data even if physical devices are lost or stolen. Incident response planning is another critical component of modern IT security. Organizations develop and regularly test comprehensive plans to respond to various types of security incidents. These plans outline specific steps to be taken in the event of a breach, including containment, eradication, and recovery procedures. The principle of least privilege is widely implemented in modern security practices. This approach limits user access rights to the minimum permissions necessary for their work roles. Regular reviews and updates of user privileges ensure that access remains appropriate as roles change within the organization. Cloud security has become increasingly important as organizations migrate their operations to cloud environments. This includes implementing Cloud Access Security Brokers, or KSBs, to monitor and control access to cloud applications, as well as ensuring proper configuration of cloud services to prevent data exposure. Finally, modern IT security practices emphasize the importance of regular security audits and compliance checks. These assessments help organizations identify potential vulnerabilities, ensure adherence to industry standards and regulations, and continuously improve their security posture. By implementing these modern IT security practices, organizations can significantly enhance their ability to protect against cyber threats and respond effectively to security incidents in an increasingly complex digital landscape. Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE, tutorials provide practical guidance for implementing and optimizing this cloud-native security architecture. These tutorials typically cover key components and implementation strategies to help organizations transition to a SASE model. One crucial aspect of SASE tutorials is explaining how it differs from traditional security models. SASE combines wide area networking and network security services to deliver improved threat prevention and streamline security management. This approach helps organizations apply secure access to users, workloads, devices, and applications in remote and hybrid environments. Tutorials often break down SASE components piece by piece, including one, zero trust network access, two, firewall as a service, three, cloud access security broker, four, secure web gateway, five, software defined wide area network. These components work together to provide comprehensive security and networking capabilities in a single cloud delivered service. Implementation strategies are a key focus of SASE tutorials. They guide organizations on how to assess their current environment and develop a SASE implementation plan. This often involves one, identifying key business drivers and security requirements. Two, evaluating existing network and security infrastructure. Three, prioritizing SASE components based on organizational needs. Four, planning a phased implementation approach. Five, selecting appropriate SASE vendors and solutions. 
Tutorials may also cover digital experience monitoring, which helps organizations simplify network controls and ensure optimal performance for users. This aspect is crucial for maintaining productivity while enhancing security. Many SASE tutorials emphasize the importance of centralized management in SASE architecture. This allows organizations to implement consistent policies across their entire network from a single console, simplifying administration and enabling more agile responses to emerging threats. Advanced tutorials might delve into integrating SASE with other cloud services and platforms. For instance, they may explain how to implement SASE in conjunction with major cloud providers like Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud, as well as various SaaS applications. By following these tutorials, IT professionals can gain practical knowledge on how to leverage SASE to enhance their organization's security posture while supporting modern, distributed work environments. The goal is to provide secure, efficient access to applications and data, regardless of user location or device. The future of Secure Access Service Edge, SASE adoption, is characterized by rapid growth and evolving trends that reflect the changing landscape of enterprise networking and security. According to recent forecasts, the global SASE market is expected to reach $17 billion by 2029, growing at a compound annual growth rate of 12%. This significant expansion underscores the increasing recognition of SASE's value in addressing modern cybersecurity challenges. One notable trend is the divergence in growth between Security Service Edge, or SSE, and software-defined wide area network known as SD-WAN, components of SASE. SSE is projected to outpace SD-WAN revenue nearly two to one, with SSE maintaining a robust double-digit compound annual growth rate over the next five years. This shift highlights enterprises' prioritization of integrated security solutions as they become increasingly cloud and mobile first. The integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning into SASE solutions is another key trend. These technologies are enhancing threat detection and response capabilities, enabling more sophisticated and automated security measures. AI and ML models can identify patterns and anomalies that humans might miss, improving detection accuracy and reducing false positives. Edge computing is becoming increasingly important in SASE architectures. As organizations adopt more Internet of Things devices and edge computing solutions, SASE is evolving to provide secure, low latency access to these distributed resources. This trend is crucial for supporting the expanding IoT landscape and ensuring consistent security across all endpoints. The adoption of unified SASE solutions is gaining momentum, particularly among smaller enterprises. These tightly integrated networking and security solutions are forecasted to grow at a remarkable 19% revenue KGR, driven by the need for simplicity and efficiency in deployment and management. By 2028, single vendor SASE solutions are expected to represent over 85% of the market. Regulatory compliance is emerging as a significant driver for SASE adoption. With the introduction of new cybersecurity regulations, such as NIS2 and DORA, organizations are leveraging SASE frameworks to address complex compliance requirements. SASE's centralized policy management and comprehensive security controls make it an attractive solution for meeting these regulatory challenges. Finally, the shift towards remote and hybrid work environments continues to fuel SASE adoption. By 2025, it is predicted that a minimum of 60% of businesses will have clear plans and schedules to adopt SASE to support their distributed workforce. This trend reflects the ongoing need for secure and efficient access to corporate resources in any location. 
As these trends converge, SASE is poised to become an essential framework for securing modern enterprise networks, offering the flexibility, scalability, and integrated security required to support digital transformation initiatives and evolving work paradigm. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.